What's up guys, we are back with another video here in our arcade today. We're gonna see how much our arcade made in just three days. And not only that guys, we're gonna go around to each machine and show you exactly how they work and play them as well so you can see for yourself if our machines are actually rigged or not. We asked you guys on YouTube before if you guys wanted to see a video like this and at least 20% of you said you did. So we wanna show you that video as well as provide you with another collection video for the entertainment as always. So let's go ahead and go around each machine and get this video going. So per usual, we're gonna go ahead and get our scale ready. Start weighing the coins from our machines. First up, we're gonna start over here with our carnival crane. As you can see, some of the plush in here. Mostly just some generic plush. This is just one of our cheaper cranes to play. Really easy to win. So we'll go ahead and open this machine up, collect the money from it first, and then show you exactly how it works and test it out. There we go. First things first, let's see how much you made in change. For Not too bad, guys. 1525, good stuff. Check the dollar bills. And just four bucks, but we are looking at 1925. So let's go ahead and see how this machine works. As you can see in here, we have a little controller right here, which comes with most Neofun cranes. On this controller are several buttons. You won't be able to see this panel very well because it's very dim, but very quickly, if I go to mode and down to system settings, we can go down to the average win ratio. As you can see, it's set to 10. If you guys can see that, you may be able to see it. There it is. Average win ratio, 10. That means you have a one in 10 chance to win this game. And since it's 50 cents each, basically like a one in $5 to win. And this, the average cost of the plush in here is anywhere from four to $5. So we're just making about our money back, maybe a little profit. This machine isn't a big earner as far as profit goes. More just for fun for the kids and for entertainment. Now let's go ahead and see how hard it is to win this crane. Bad start, here we go. Got it guys, and just like that, won the crane. Good job, on to the next. You're terrible. Let's go ahead and get the money from the first crane in that pouch right there we meant to bring a big five gallon bucket we wanted to go investment joy status but we just didn't make it to lowe's to grab a five gallon bucket so instead we bought a bunch of different pouches to use instead and real quick i just want to mention that this crane does not have a bill acceptor as i mentioned in the last video so this will just be quarters just wanted to share that with you all oh very nice Bada boom guys, $40 in three days. I think it made $43 last time in one day. So again, these machines with toys in them are making a little less. That must mean that the people who are in here playing our games must have wanted to play for, you know, maybe the Starbucks cups, maybe the Chinese cups, maybe the coin pushers, maybe more adults. That's my idea anyway. So this is another crane from Neofuns. And as you can see, it has the controller as well. So we will use the controller to show you here on the LED panel. This one you can actually see. We will go to mode, system settings, and there it is guys, average win ratio. The average win ratio is one in 15 on this machine. So for 50 cents, that means one in about seven and a half plays. And each of these toys are about six to seven bucks. So again, just making our, our product cost back, plus maybe a little more, depending on how good people are at playing the claw machine. So you saw how much it made. But how easy is it to win? Let's find out. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna go for this little Incredibles guy right here. He's like an Incredibles alien. Hold up. There we go. Well, I meant to open the glass for you guys so you could see. I'm sorry. That was a real bad play anyway. I'll go ahead and open this glass. There we go. Got us a few plays. Go ahead and set myself up for success. Boom! Oh! Man, dude, 
Is that what people have been experiencing? That's a shame. Because of your machine. Try again here real quick. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got the edge of it that time. Come on, baby. There we go. All day, guys. All day. There you go, guys. I want... They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You... There we go from our first two machines. All right, so next up is our Starbucks claw machine. As you can see, it was played a nice little amount yesterday as well. We've been rearranging the cups for the past three days. So, you know, we had a decent amount more cups in here. You'll also get to see us put in some more here shortly. We have some more that we need to get ready. But first, let's go ahead and see how much this machine made. Let's start with the quarters per usual. Oh yeah, guys. Now that's what I like to see. That's a nice amount of change. Of course, our scale died per usual. No big deal. All right, here we go, guys. How much did the Starbucks product make? $73 and change alone. Now let's go ahead and check the cash for this machine. I'm sure there's gonna be some dollars in here because once again, it is a dollar a play, so usually some dollar bills in here. Yep. Very nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 dollars in cash. Get this put back on here. And now we will show you the settings. So as you can see in here, this one just has a settings button, much more easy. I'll just push this just like that. And on the panel, once again, we have the settings menu. We will go to settings. And here's the win rate per usual, guys. This one is set to one in 15. So the reason it's a little higher is because we do have $5 cups in here, but also $25 gift cards in here, guys. So you have a one in five chance, one in 15 chance to win, sorry per dollar put in. This machine does have a free to play button, so we don't even have to actually put in money. We just push this free to play button right here, as many times we want, and as you can see, the machine has started playing. So let's go ahead and try to win a Starbucks cup. Nice. No, it's not a nice. Try this again, I'll push the free to play button. There we go. All right, gotta win a Starbucks cup. I gotta win something. Nope. Why did I say congratulations? I didn't win, huh? You guys are congratulating me on my failures? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems legit. And there we go, guys. Got me a cup. Please be the $25 one, baby. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, $5. That's all right. Hey, at least I finally won a cup from this machine, though. And we will close this up for now. We will fill it up here in just a little bit. But for now, we are done with this machine. Rock her up. Move on to our Chinese cups crank, which, as you can see, has been played a nice little amount as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this money in the pouch from the Starbucks crank real quick. Very nice, building up a nice amount already. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside this Chinese cup crane. See how much it made for three days. Oh, wow. Nice amount of quarters, guys. Like I said, these machines just are to get... What did you say? These machines are just getting played more than the other plush and toy machines. Obviously, people wanted more of the gift cards and the Starbucks cups. So, like I said, different crowds play different machines. See how much this machine makes. $64 and change. Let's go ahead and check the cash on that one as well. Probably not too much cash. Oh, we're actually getting a little stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 18 plus 64 makes $82. Go ahead and get this DBA back on here. Now let's push the settings button. Just like the other claw machine, this one just has the settings button we push right here, which opens this panel. And on this machine, guys, TSS is actually the win ratio, one in 30. 
Now, the reason it's 130 is because this is only 50 cents a play. So basically one in every $15, you'll, you can win up to a $25 gift card, a fire stick, something crazy guys. Or sometimes it's just a fidget spinner. We even have some Pokemon cards in here and stuff. I don't know why I locked this up because I have to push the free to play button. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Free play. All right, what am I gonna win? What am I gonna win? Bada boom. Oh, no, -uh. first try. Oh, what? Great. I thought I had that one first try, guys. Dang it. Try again. Ooh, man, that thing, that clamp's pretty strong. Right on it. Ooh, tight. Yeah, oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna consider that a win. We're gonna go ahead and cheat, because that was ridiculous. What would I have won? Oh, dang, this is actually a decent one, guys. Lugia and $5 and a little capsule. That's not bad considering I just spent about, what, four or five bucks getting that? But you cheated. Now we will go ahead and open the winner's cube and see how much it made before we test it. First up the change. Not too shabby. $28.25, not too bad. Let's go ahead and check the dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fiver. So we have twenty-seven dollars plus twenty-eight twenty-five. Thirty twenty-five or sorry, six. Think so that makes fifty-five twenty-five for the winner's cube. Very nice. Especially since that was just three days. As you can see, this one also has a controller. It's actually built into the side of it. So we just push this mode button right here. Now here on the panel, you will see the options. I have to control it from down here on this. We'll go to game settings and we will go down to the rows where we can see the win. Here we go. The first row. As you can see, one in 40. And these prizes up here, guys, are 40, that one's $40, that one's about $45. So you have about a one in 40 chance of winning. Again, we don't, we try not to get more than just our product cost back at least. We don't want to get too much profit to where it's like unwinnable and not fun, but we do got to make some money. So let's go ahead and test this machine and see how hard it is to actually win. <laughs> you are so bad. Here we go, ten dollar gift card all day, all day. Boom. Oh. Just not good enough. There we go. Now let's see how much this sports zone machine made. Pop this open. Bada boom. There's those keys. Let's see how much this sports zone made. Pinball gumball machine. Right. Not too bad. And our scale keeps dying, so that's great. Very nice, guys. Get that penny out of there. So we're looking at twenty-two fifty. All right, now let's go ahead and see how much our bonus hole coin pusher made in just three days. I'm gonna guess it made quite a bit, guys, because. This is usually a very popular machine, so. Wow. Very nice, per usual. Weigh it in the scale. $129 in three days. And again, this wasn't on a weekend. This was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, if you guys are wondering what days. As far as if coin pushers are rigged or not, the only thing that really determines that 
is if you can see right in here, there's this lip right here on every coin pusher. You can actually move it up or down and the higher up it is, the harder it is to win from these coin pushers. We just have our set on the generic stock from the factory. We've never adjusted it to make it, you know, higher or lower. We just have it as it's always been. And I could show you putting in a bunch of quarters trying to win this, but that would take all day. So unfortunately, we're not gonna try to win all these prizes from the coin pushers. We're just gonna see how much the coin pushers made, so. Okay, let's go ahead and check our other coin pusher real quick. And there you go, got, wow. That one actually did pretty decent. And before I forget, you wanna look in here real quick. As you saw in the last video, we have to, whoa, knock on that and get quite a few extra quarters that time. Wow, did this one do better than the other one? That's Looks great. Like Usually that is not the case, guys. Usually the bonus hole does way better, but this one, let's see how it is. Wow, that one actually did better. Wow, very close, $112. A lot better than the other time. I think that was like 25 bucks in a day. That's yeah. a lot better. Love it. So if you wanna look right here, we actually did have a winner. I'll show her on screen. Very nice young gal. She won both a Pac-Man arcade and a thing of money, which we actually have another one over here. I'll show you real quick. She won one of these with a bunch of cash in it. Go ahead and see how much this made. Oh, nice. Still made a pretty decent amount of money for three days. Put that in the scale. Very nice, 46 bucks. Check the dollar bills. Oops. We actually dropped another quarter right here too. Let's check the dollar bills. Oh yeah. Some dollars as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. This was thirty dollars in cash, guys. So if we go ahead and go add this thirty dollars to this forty-six twenty-five, that would make it seventy-six twenty-five from the stacker in just three days. All right, we'll go ahead and put a couple bucks in here and see if I can win the stacker. Probably not, but sometimes I actually am pretty decent at this game, so we'll see. <laughs> Try again. That's why we have it on one and one. This, this game actually does require quite a bit of skill. So if you're not one of those people who's just really good at timing stuff, this game is not super easy. Minor prize, baby. I could choose a minor prize right now, guys. Just off my second dollar, but I'm going to instead continue to try to win the major. Oh! As you can see, it just started going too fast for me. That's not a good excuse. In the pouch, the overflowing pouch. Goodness gracious, guys. We are looking good. All right, let's go ahead and get inside this double up crane. Check the quotas. Nice. I'm gonna say $37. Nice. Love it, love it. Let's check the cash, my friends. Couple bucks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I take that back. Several bucks. So, seven plus 37 is $44 in just three days. I really need to start doing another pouch, guys. Getting so full. And we'll try a couple plays on this machine for you too. Oops. Grab this key so you can see inside. See what I can win. It's a tiny little ball on there. There we go. Ooh. Absolute fail. Nice. Oh, weak grab. Yep. 
Oh. Got a Pokeball. Yeah, buddy. Master Ball. Which Pokemon did I get? Fun stuff. So as you guys saw in our last video, this machine does not take any money currently. But as you can see, the steering auto calibration failed. So that means you turn this, turn the wheel to the left, to the right, and then we can start it. So our next machine oops, that we will service is our SpongeBob crane. It is desperately in need of more SpongeBob balls. Hopefully our little friend who lives in a pineapple under the sea made us some money. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> too. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> oh, nice. 3150. There might be some cash. The more the merrier. We got one, two, three, four dollars. So we are looking at. $35.50 in three days. So about $10 a day. Very nice. Good job, SpongeBob. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, this machine is also set on one in one. Because as you can see, it's 50 cents, and these balls cost us around 30 cents a piece. So no matter what we win, so we have this machine on as easy as it can possibly get. Just like I said, very easy to win for any kiddos. Because who doesn't love a SpongeBob ball? We actually see a lot of kids leave the arcade with these. Dump them in and make them winnable. You don't want them all off to the edge. Starbucks crane reloaded. Alrighty, let's see how much this Chubby's claw machine made. Wow, quite a bit in that one. Oh, and as you can see, I forgot to empty SpongeBob into the pouch first. No big deal. There's the SpongeBob earnings. Now we will see how much the Chubby's crane made. Wow, 57.50 in three days. Very nice. These Chubby's are popular. Check the cash real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars. Twelve plus fifty-seven fifty. That is sixty-nine fifty in just three days on the Chubby's crane. Okie doke. Let's go ahead and try to win this Chubby's crane. As you can see, we put these really close here on the edge just the other day. I know there was two in the back, a little bit smaller ones. Those must have got one. Wow, that is, that was a horrible grab. That was absolutely terrible. Let's try this green one. I can just knock it in. Oh. Well, again, guys, I'm just not very good at claw machines. At least we tried that one. Go ahead and get this machine all locked up. We'll move on to our Route 66 current. Cash is looking good, my friends. So are the coins. And when we're, when we're all done, guys, when all the machines are collected from, we're gonna dump all of these quarters into the scale at once to see how much it is total for you. Don't worry. Because we wanna see how much it is total too, so. Get this unlocked real quick. Usually this one does pretty decent because we have Nintendo plush in here, Mario's, SpongeBob's, so. Yeah, not too bad. I think he usually does a little better, but that's all right. Again, people the past few days just haven't been playing the plush crank. That's a nice. $20.25, we'll take it. Let's see if there's any dollar bills in here. Oh wow, no dollar bills guys. So just $20.25 for that one. Actually a little bit lower for the past few days, but you know, no big dealio.
Usually not any dollars in this one, guys. Usually just a quarter heavy machine. Oh, nice. Ah, not too bad. Check these dollar bills. <laughs> Is that right? Let me feel one. Yeah. One dollar, guys. You can go ahead and take that over there, Cody. another guys dump that one nice also some spare change back in there there we go <laughs> our triple shot candy machine. All right, let's get the toy rack dumped in here. I hope that fits. Holy Toledo. Wow, guys. That is crazy. That is, look at this, guys. Sorry for saying guys so much, but I mean, look at this. Wow, okay, well. For our last machine, I'm just gonna shovel all the quarters into this from the canning machine. So, as you can see, I just filled up these two the other day. Skittles are very low, which we have another container of right here to put inside. But first, let's see how much this canning machine made. Here we go. And there we go, guys. Grab these pennies out of there. That piece of candy. I look at twenty dollars and seventy-five cents, give or take, guys. There might be a couple dimes in there. That's actually a couple more pennies, so around twenty bucks. Dump that into the pouch. Now we have to see how much all of this weighs total. We have all of the money we collected today from the arcade in just three days. Let's see how much it all weighs total to get us a final amount for how much we made. There's bag number one, $308.75. Bag number two, putting us at $584.75. And bag number three, putting us at over $900 plus this stack of cash, guys. Holy cow so you were looking at 915 dollars and 25 cents plus this cash making it over a thousand dollars for the past three days from our day that is absolutely awesome guys this is super heavy we're gonna go ahead and end this video thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you real soon in our next video goodbye